Good morning ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Supercars of London and as you can see I'm in London and about to check out an awesome supercar. Today is the first press day at the Geneva Motor Show and um, tomorrow I'm going to be doing a video of all of the new supercar arrivals that are being unveiled today and also yesterday with the VW Group but today I'm in London to check out a pretty awesome beauty. I can't wait to see it in the flesh and uh, I'm just arriving now so uh, check this out. I am here at Audi City checking out the brand new 2015 Audi R8. Um, this is the V10 Plus behind me and it also comes in the standard V10 and this video is going to go through lots and lots of details and statistics about the car but first of all let's check out the car's exterior and interior and just have a look at the first impressions of the all new Audi R8. Yeah. First impressions of the rear, it looks completely different to the um, current curvier model, um, the one that is currently sitting on my drive. Um, however, the grills are a lot sharper edges and there's just a lot of points as you can see here. I'm scared to touch the car because it's just been cleaned. On each side there are sort of a parallel um, square exhaust tips, parallel square, does not make sense at all. And then across the bottom you've got a really aggressive rear diffuser and the whole idea of this video really is to get a feel for the new car so you guys get to um, understand what this car looks like um, in the flesh rather than the press release photos because I don't think Audi really did this car justice in terms of when they released the photos and the cars that are at Geneva as well. So I'm really excited to be here um, checking out this car probably one of the first people to check it out um, in the UK which I'm uh, really appreciative about one of the, my favorite bits are these wheels as you can see they're quite similar to the Audi LMX that I um, had a look at down at Watford Audi not so long ago but these are finished in the sort of ballpoint polished look which uh, definitely emphasizes the red that this car comes in at the moment we've got um, a split side blade which a lot of people are saying that they miss the current full side blade on the car um, but I personally think this adds to the just the full profile lines of the car and then we've got this massive carbon spoiler on the back which again is similar to the Audi R8 LMS. So everything about the new R8 is completely new or revised and as you can see the lines are completely different as you walk around the side of the car it's got a lot more sharper lines it's a lot more Lamborghini-esque and this car is actually built on the same chassis as the new Lamborghini Huracan and personally I prefer the looks of this car I think Lamborghini sort of um, mucked up the back of the rear of the car whereas Audi have absolutely nailed it and I think this looks unbelievable. Personally I prefer the standard Audi um, R8 V10 rather than the V10 Plus with the carbon spoiler but there's going to be a lot of people that are going to be ordering this as it does look cool and it makes it a lot more track going which um, what Audi have said is this car is all about. It's a lot more track focused and it is the ultimate driving experience available from Audi so uh, let's have a quick walk around to the front and check out how angry this looks from the front because this is a really really aggressive car much more aggressive than the first Audi R8 A huge new feature on the brand new Audi R8 is the new LED and laser headlights that once featured on the Audi R8 LMX but I was unable to um, actually get that clip in because I was stuttering all over it but basically these headlights is going to give a much more sharper clearer vision for the driver and it's also going to be coming as standard to both the Audi R8 V10 and V10 Plus which is um, pretty exciting and Audi are always innovative when it comes to headlights and taillights um, this was the first car 
in 2008 to launch daytime LED running lights, which to me is one of the prettiest and best features of the car. And you can definitely tell when an R8 is coming down the road, even at daytime, which um, is pretty huge. And I think it then became an EU regulation that all new cars had to have daytime LED running lights. So it's gonna be interesting to see whether Audi can innovate again and make it laser lights that is needs to be com uh, compulsory on new cars. So let's have an overview of my first impressions of the brand new 2015 Audi R8 V10 Plus that is down here at Audi City. So the first Audi R8 that came out, Audi absolutely nailed and I fell in love with it and so many people still love it. I think it still stands out and everyone still turns their heads and I, as I drive past and it's got nothing to do with my exhaust or baby blue. I think the car is still current, it doesn't look too dated um, and in the space of um, well six or eight years, however long they've been selling the Audi R8, they've sold over 40,000 units. So this car has definitely got some big shoes to fill and I personally think now that I've seen it in the flesh after the Audi press releases and all of the Geneva pictures that this car definitely fills those shoes and especially with the performance statistics that are going to come from this car and also the Audi R8 V10 this car behind me is going to have a 602 brake horsepower 0 to 60 in around 3.5 seconds and a top speed of 205 miles an hour which is a huge step up from the 420 brake horsepower and 187 mile an hour top speed that's currently in my car So at the moment, the engine um, options are the V10, V10 Plus, and then at Geneva as well, yesterday they launched the e-tron, which is gonna be the first production Audi R8 that is gonna have the full electric battery mode, which I'm almost certain has around 450 brake horsepower or the equivalent, and a range of over 250 miles, which is pretty impressive for a car that is as good looking as this and is definitely gonna rival the likes of the BMW i8. And the designers and engine engineers of this car say that this is the closest track car for the road that Audi have ever produced and I have to agree that this car looks absolutely stunning is going to be a real monster around the track but it's also going to be usable every single day and unfortunately I'm not able to go into the interior of the car which Here, but there's a lot of carbon. I've got my light on on my uh, phone and as you can see the center console is very bland compared to the old style. It's got lots of carbon fiber, but um, it's actually really quite nice in here. The seats are um, a sort of a light gray color as you can see here and I apologize for the um, bad quality, but the main feature is the new steering wheel and virtual cockpit that unfortunately isn't on at the moment but you've got the start and stop engine button which is very similar to Ferrari's we've got the drive select which uh, gives the driver options of how, how they want to drive whether they want to drive in comfort individual mode or whether they just want to go all out race and absolutely thrash this car and I'm looking around now for this button that opens up the exhaust system and I think I have found it. That is the shape of the new Audi R8 exhaust system and this looks like the sport button for your exhaust to open it up and make it crackle and pop, I hope. But here is the virtual cockpit screen. So if I was to do a point of view of what it's going to be like to drive the new R8, this is it. And you're going to have the sat nav, all of your driver dials up here, which is a really, really cool feature and very similar to the Audi current. Audi TT or the new Audi TT but personally I think this is the coolest interior on any new Audi and I think it rivals the likes of the Lamborghini Huracan and also the new Ferrari 488 GTB which I don't really like I may get some negative comments on that but there's going to be a video to come of all of the new cars that are going to be at Geneva oh it's a bright light so make sure that you um, tune in tomorrow on Supercars of London for all of the new supercar launches at Geneva 
and um, I'm going to let myself get out of this car because it looks too clean and uh, too fresh. That is my first impressions video on the Audi R8 V10 Plus down at Audi, Audi City in London. Let me know your thoughts of it, like the video, make sure that you subscribe, there's going to be a lot more content with cars like this coming very very soon. I would like to thank Audi UK and um, Audi Watford for allowing me to have this opportunity to check it out um, and also come down to the launch of the car as well which I hope I'll be able to video as much as possible. As you can see there's lots of people in this room and there's some quiet music so this video has been quite difficult for me to make. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed it, really sort of basic overview of what this car has to offer and um, I'm looking forward to getting behind the driver's wheel of a car like this, maybe not this exact car, but an Audi R8 V10 or the new Audi R8 V10 and um, I'll be comparing it to my car and also some of the other cars that are on the market like the Porsche 911 Turbo that this car is going up against. So thank you for watching, I hope you guys have enjoyed and um, I look forward to seeing you tomorrow for a lot more um, cars that have been launched at Geneva including the Ferrari 45. 488 GTB, the Lamborghini Aventador SV, which looks insane, and also the new Koenigsegg, last ever Bugatti, and lots more cool stuff. So um, I apologize that this video may seem quite awkward, but um, there's lots of Audi representatives and executives here. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you very soon. Cheers.